Yes. 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 Let it go. Yes. It's time to let it go. It's time to let it go and let it die. Yes. Let it go and let it die. Because sometimes we bring the things. Sometimes we're the ones keeping it running. Sometimes we're the ones keeping it alive. You got to let it die. You got it when it's, when it's dead, let it stay dead. Yes. Let it stay there. Don't worry about them digging up again. That's right. But you got to let it stay dead. Yes. Let it stay dead. You can bring it back up and then it'll hinder you. Yes. But let it stay dead. Let it die. And go forward. Praise the Lord. Yes. Yes. Did I just make it praise God for what God is doing, for the yes. word of God has gone yes. for us? Don't be the same, it's dangerous to be the same. Right. Same old, same old, but make a change. Yes. Psalms 119. Uh-huh. Psalms 119. This Psalms 119 is right in the middle of the Bible. It's the longest chapter in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Psalms 119. Mm -hmm. It has 176 verses in it. And all of this song is dedicated to knowing and following the word of God. David starts off by saying, blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of the Lord. There are a lot of people who want to be blessed, but they don't want to do right. Well, True. You can't expect God to bless you living any kind of way. You can't expect God to prosper you and you going against his word and his will. Mm -hmm. My God. We say in the past, the safest place you can be is where? In the will of God. In the will of God. And how do you stay in the will of God? By staying in the word of God. Amen. And he said, if you want to be blessed, then you need to be walking in the law of the Lord. Not just talking about Because a lot of people say, I know the word of God, but what's the use of knowing it and you don't do it? Amen. Sometimes people come up for prayer. Ooh, say that, Bishop. Yes, sir. And, and they asked me, I want you to pray for my home. I want you to pray for my family. And the first thing I asked them, are that. you saved? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. He showed it. <laughs> because if you are not saved, mm -hmm. then you're not going to be able to walk in the blessing of the Lord. That's right. Because you're living like the devil. What? And you can't expect God to pour out blessing upon you when you're giving all your time and your life to the devil. Yes, yes. I can't pray God blessing on you if God got a curse on you. Amen. <laughs> if a man and a woman living together and they're not married, that's not a blessed house. That's a cursed house. Amen. Yeah. Make it plain. Make it plain. I can't pray no blessing on you when you're living in fornication and living ungodly. That's right. That's true. I'm not going to even waste time praying that because God's not listening. Well, yeah. If you want God to bless your house, first of all, you need your house in order under God. That's yeah. right. That's true. That's true. And he blessed husband and wife. He blessed married, not living together. That's right. That's true. And if you want God to bless your house, you need to be heaven, you need to be holy in that house. Yeah. 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 He said, bless only yeah. undefiled. In other words, those who are not tainted by evil, those who
promise you, Lord, if you do this, I'm going to do right here. If you do this, I'm going to change. And sometimes, God, he lets his mercy come forth and he allows you to go forward. And all of a sudden, when God makes things better, you go back to the same old way you were doing before. Well, But if you, how many people want to be blessed in here? Yes. Uh -huh. Now, listen, don't fool me now. Yes. Don't, don't fool me. Don't yes. Fool me. I ain't fooling you, bitch. Don't fool me. I'm talking about do you really want to be blessed? Yes. yes. You really want to be prosperous? Yes. You really want to be successful? Yes. Then you need to be obeying God because obeying God is the only way yes. that the blessings are going to come. That's right. Because if you walk in like the devil, then the devil is going to come in your life and all the blessings will just fade out. Mm -hmm. yes. Change. If you don't make a change, everything remains the same. That's why that's why right, If you want a change, you got to do what? Make a change. And the second verse says, bless are they that keep his testimonies, that seek him with the whole heart, they also do no iniquity, they walk in his ways. Thou hast commanded us to keep that precept diligently. Oh, that my ways were directed to keep thy statutes. Then shall I not be ashamed when I have respect to all thy commandments. I will praise thee with the brightness of heart when I shall have learned thy righteous judgment. I will keep thy statutes over sin. Me not utterly. So I'm asking you, in 2015, mm -hmm. do you want the blessing of the Lord to be sin? Mm. Mm. In 2015, do you want the blessing of the Lord to be sin? Let me ask you one more time. In 2015, yes. do you want the blessing of the Lord to be sin? Yes. Then you're going to have to live clean. Well, all right. Okay. You have to live holy yes. and live godly yes. and say from tonight on, I'm going to give up my own way of living. I'm going to ask the Lord to come into my heart, come into my life, forgive me of my sins so I can live holy and fill it with the Holy Ghost. But I need the Holy Ghost to live right. And when I get the Holy Ghost, I'm not.
Well, are you ready?